Financial Sense was specifically designed to help accounting firms get work done. With our easy to use practice management solution, it makes it simple to track the status of work, get faster client responses, centralize everything you need to keep your firm organized, and ultimately save time and money with integrated billing. The first thing you see in Financial Sense is the workflow dashboard, as you can see here. This is the heart and soul of Financial Sense. This is where you get the visibility to easily track the status of work, who's working on what, and all your deadlines in a single view. As you can see below, you can track the status of all the work going on across the firm. You can see the status of the work, the progress it is to being completed, if there's any client requests needed, if there's team communication, due dates, and whose desk it is on at your firm. As a manager or owner, you'll be able to track the status of everyone's work. But as an individual team member, you'll only be able to see your work unless given permission otherwise. One really powerful part of this view is the workflow filters up here, which let you run custom reports to drill down and see the work that you want to see. So for example, I can use this to search for all my monthly bookkeeping work that is in review and due next month. And as you can see here, I can now see the work that fits that criteria. You have all these different filters that you can use to track the work that matters most to you. You have the search bar to filter by work type. You have tags to filter by statuses, which can be customized and you can create as many as you want. You can filter by due date, start date, or internal due date. You can filter by accounting period. You can filter by team member. You can filter by clients, client groups, and so much more. And you can even create saved views to quickly get to the reports you want to see most. This view is all about visibility. So you always know the status of work and nothing ever slips through the cracks. Now let's show you how your team actually gets work done. You can access work by clicking on the title of work. One of the big benefits of Financial Sense is that we store everything related to the work on the work. So your team always knows where everything is and can access it to get their work done easily. Let's first start by talking about the most important part of the project, and that is your checklists and tasks. Inside of a project, you have client and team tasks. Your client tasks are the tasks that your client does, and your team tasks are the tasks that they complete to get the work done. So in this example for the monthly bookkeeping work for Adeline Collins, we need to actually request a few documents from the client before our team can start the work. As you can see here, we've asked the client to upload bank statements, credit card statements, and loan statements. You can also do many other actions with your client. If you click Add Client Tasks here, you can see that you can request documents, you can send documents, you can request signatures, ask questions, ask about uncategorized transactions, you can even schedule meetings or send them forms. Once you've completed the request list for your client, you can easily send it to them here. You can choose to send it on a specific date in the future, or you can send it now, or you can make it dependent so it will send automatically when your team completes a certain part of their work. Once you decide when you want to send the request list to your client, you can turn on automated reminders. This will automatically chase down your client so you don't have to. In this example, I'm going to set up to remind my clients via email and text message every five days until they complete the work items. This is an important feature because we found that a lot of firms spend time chasing down their clients for information. And with this, it automates everything from start to finish. So in this example, we've scheduled it now to go on the fifth of the month and it will automatically remind our client every five days until they complete these items. And because this is a monthly bookkeeping project that recurs every month automatically, that means when it creates future recurrences and copies of this project automatically in the future, it's also going to send it out on the 5th of every single month automatically and chase down our clients automatically. So your team never has to request information from the client and remind them to complete those items ever again. Automating the client document collection process from start to finish and helping you get client responses faster so your team can get their work done. Outside of that, when your clients complete the tasks, you'll be notified in the app. You can see communication with the client as well as view the documents they uploaded right here on the work. 
Again, keeping everything organized so when your team starts their tasks, they have everything they need to get their work done right here in one place. In a little bit, I'm gonna show you what the client sees on their end and how they actually complete these tasks in their client portal. So next, let's talk about the team tasks. These are the steps your team actually follows to get their work done, to help you maintain work quality as your team grows. Over here, your team members can see the individual steps they need to complete, as well as subtasks, and there's automations that you can use to automate admin work. You have automations for changing the status of the work, for sending automated emails to the clients and updates, as well as creating and triggering other work to be created when work is completed. Up at the top here and over to the right, your team can access all the other information they need to get their work done. They can see communication with the client. They can see communication with the team related to the work. They can view documents related to the work and on the client's profile. They can view time tracking information and they can even view emails related to the work. With our email integration, your team can pin related emails to the work instead of it being forward to an inbox and lost. And over here on the right side, your team can view external resources. They can open other apps with our integrations so they can access folders and documents in the Google Drive or OneDrive. And you can open their QBO file. And down here you have external resources that you can link to that may not be apps. So it could be videos or SOP documents. Again, the core of financial sense is to keep everything in one place so your team is organized and productive. So now that you've seen where your team can get work done, let me show you how the client uses their portal to actually complete these items very easily. When you send a client task request to a client, they will receive an email and text notification that looks something like this. As you can see for the subject line, it will have your firm's name. It will look like it's coming from your firm. It will have your firm's logo. It will mention your name and their name, the work it's for, and the items that you're requesting. Your client will then be able to easily access the portal from the email or text notification. One of the things that differentiates our portal from other portals is that your client can easily access it without ever having to create a username or password because of our secure Magic Link technology. We found one of the biggest issues is that clients don't use portals because they find them too hard to use or they can't remember their password or username. We overcome this with the secure Magic Link technology that allows them again to access it in one click as you just saw. Making it easy for your clients to send you the information you need so your team can get your work done. When they access the portal through that notification, you can see the request list that we saw earlier in the project. The client can then ask questions or even upload documents. When your client finishes uploading the documents, they can easily mark the tasks completed. However, our portal isn't just for client requests. It is a portal for all your client's needs in one single place. So if you click here at the request, you can see all active requests from the other work that the client needs to complete. The client can also view old documents, files, or reports in our document management section. They can ask questions and communicate with you and chat with you or about work or other related information. They can also answer questions about uncategorized transactions. We can integrate with QBO, pull those uncategorized transactions, ask them clients about them, and then it'll update you and you can push those updates automatically to QuickBooks. And they can view invoices that they need to pay as well as sign proposals all in one place. This gives your clients one portal for all their needs. No more confusion on which portal they need to use for what because it will all be in one place. Now that we've talked a little bit about the client portal and their experience, let's go back to the firm view and cover how you can easily invoice your clients and send them proposals. Inside of Financial Sense, you can save time and money with integrated billing and online payments. Inside the billing tab on Financial Sense, the first thing you're going to see is your invoices tab. This is where you can send invoices to clients and manage them. You can see all your invoices here. You can see what's in draft, outstanding, overdue, or been paid, and how much money is in each status. You can easily also create invoices. You can send one-time and recurring invoices to clients. You can auto-charge the payment methods they have on file or send them via email and build out those invoices. 
If you use QuickBooks Online, all invoices and online payments will automatically sync back to QuickBooks Online, as you can see here. With the billing module, you can also send modern proposals to your clients to streamline your proposal, billing, and onboarding process. In this view, you can view all your active proposals and proposals waiting to be accepted by potential clients. If you click on a proposal in this view, it will show you the actual details of the proposal, who accepted it, when, have an audit trail with IP addresses so it's legally binding, as well as the PDF document that you can use with all of the engagement letter terms, services, and signature. You can easily send an online proposal to a client by clicking Create Proposal here. In here, you can add an introductory message or video to be sent to the client on the proposal. You can add in the services that you're gonna bill and invoice the client for. So once they accept the proposal, it will automatically invoice the clients. You can choose the payment methods you want them to add and require it to be added to accept the proposal. So you can automatically charge them immediately once they sign the proposal. And you can include your engagement letter in legal terms to make it a legally binding proposal making it easy to streamline your proposal, engagement letter, and billing process. Another powerful feature inside of Financial Sense is our email integration, which helps you overcome inbox overwhelm. We integrate with Outlook and Gmail so you can manage all of your emails inside of Financial Sense, and everything is kept in sync. So if you read, send, archive, or delete an email in Financial Sense, it does the same in Outlook or Gmail and vice versa. One of the biggest challenges we saw with accounting firms is that they had so many different emails coming from clients and personal related. And important client emails will get lost in the inbox because of that. So we created a focus folder of just client related emails. So in this view, you can see just client emails, but if you need to view other emails, you can. You can also integrate with multiple email inboxes so you have one aggregated shared inbox that's just focused on client folders. So it could be your personal and your work if your clients are sending personal emails to your personal address as well. On top of that, when viewing an email inside of Financial Sense, you can create work from an email or pin it to existing work. So if a client's asking you to do something ad hoc inside of your email, you can easily create a project and assign it to a team member. Or you can pin it to existing work if it's related to existing work. So in this example, as you can see here, this is already pinned to a project. So now when your team is viewing that project, they'll be able to view that conversation that you pinned to the work instead of it getting buried inside of their inbox. Giving you everything you need to manage your emails, overcome inbox overwhelm, and organize all your emails in one place. Lastly, let's talk about your client database, which can be accessed here. This is where you can store all of your client information in one place so your firm can easily find it. In this view, you can see all your clients and all their information in a database, which you can search and filter through to find what you need. Even better is that you can click into an individual client's profile to view all of their detailed information. Here you have everything you need. You can see all the work for the client. You can see client and meeting notes. You can see documents. You can see client requests, recent activities, contact information, custom fields, resources. You can see billing information. You can see all the passwords and usernames for all their apps. And you can even see an email audit trail so you can see who talked to the client when and about what. Everything your firm needs related to the client can be accessed here quickly so your team always has the information that they need to get their work done. And that is a quick demo of some of the core functionality of Financial Sense, the only tool that you need to centralize and scale your accounting firm.